Hello everyone, Bryce from Black Widow Fishing. Today, the weather is awful. The wind is gnarly, the rain is coming down. You might be able to hear it, so I apologize for that. So that leaves us with a great opportunity to talk about our mount that we have for our Garmin Live Scope. So if you wanna find out about it, come on back after the intro. When you decide to get a Garmin Live Scope, the first decision that you need to make is if you're going to get the LVS32 or the Live Scope Plus with the LVS34. However, the next major decision is how are you going to mount that to your boat or your kayak? I am in a unique position where I use both my boat and my kayak for competitive fishing and tournaments. So I needed a system that could easily mount my Garmin Live Scope between the both of them or basically like a modular system. So after tons and tons of research, I decided to go with a fishing specialties mount. Now, I'm not sponsored by fishing specialties. They don't know that I'm making this video. And everything that I say here is my own opinion. So the basis of fishing specialty is that they use this nice aluminum down rod that you can see here with a nice handle. And they give you a mount, depending on the type of transducer you have, and this mount is really just a ram mount, which makes moving this transducer, uh, which is the LVS34, really simple. Garmin does include a perspective and a normal mount for their LVS34. However, it is super complicated to figure out, and there's a lot of reading that you gotta to do to get this um, transducer in the right mode. With here, with the fishing spell disease, we really just loosen up the ram mount and then we move our transducer the way we want it. And Garmin has a software update that automatically detects which mode the transducer is in and it will switch it. So that makes it super simple. The fishing specialties also includes this nice aluminum pole with a cup and they call this pole the down rod. So that's what the transducer attaches to. And then we have the handle and the handle typically is supposed to go the direction that, you, that your transducer is facing so you know which direction it's in. I've been playing around with it sometimes where I have the handle opposite of the direction of the transducer. Um, I haven't decided on which way I prefer it, but you can run it either way you want. And then the real nice thing about this is that they include a little um, stress relief cap here. And so your transducer line runs from your transducer up through the down rod and comes out of the top. So it really protects your transducer cable. And so they do sell the down rods in several different sizes. For the kayak, they recommend either a 24 or the 30, I believe it's a 36 inch down rod. <clears throat> I went with the 36 down rod because coincidentally enough, they also recommend a 36 inch down rod for a nitro boat. Um, so since this sits really low, this actually works phenomenally well for both the kayak as well as the boat. And so this whole system is just going to simply attach to their mounting plate, which is right here. And that happens by way of the cup. So you push that in there like there, and now it's mounted. And they have several different mounting options. So get a good look at the way this is. I'm going to actually going to take this off now so I can show you a closer look. They have several different mounting options. And so for the easiest for me, I decided that using a RAM mount would not only be the cheapest, but also the easiest to move it between both of the boats or kayak, if you will. So the mount comes this, this way uh, with the cup there. And so I purchased these separately. And so I went with a one and a half inch or the seaside ball or sea size ball for the clamp, as well as a medium sized arm. And then I went with another one and a half inch or C size ball right there. And what's really great is that you can drill these right into the mount. And so it makes it real simple. This, this marine board, as they call it, is really soft. So it doesn't take a lot of power to actually drill through here. And you can make a really nice clean setup. Now, one thing that I do want to point out that Fishing Specialties does mention in all the documentation, assuming you read that, is when you mount whatever you're going to mount to your marine board here or your mount, you need to only use two nylon screws. While there may be holes in your mount for more, if you use more than two nylon screws, you're gonna really degrade the safety that was built into this product. 
And by that, I mean if you're mo if you're motoring along using your trolley motor and rocks or some other kind of structure or any other kind of debris or your um, object comes up and hits your down rod, it was designed to break away using nylon screws. It was designed to break the screws and release that pressure so you don't damage your rod or your transducer. And then you're able to drill out the broken screws and then just replace them. But if you use more than two screws, this thing becomes super rigid and it won't break that easily. And so you run the risk of bending your pole or damaging your transducer. So always read the directions, but once again, you only want to use two screws. But I just wanted to highlight fishing specialties for their system of live scope mounting with their down rod. So far, I am thoroughly happy with it, and I suggest everybody take a good look and really consider fishing specialties when you're looking for a mount or down rod system for your boat or kayak. That's it for now. Catch you next time.